And the origin story of Amplify is kind of like the origin story of a comic book hero or character. It's a very, very nerdy origin story. So um, it actually started with inspiration from the East Coast earthquake from a few years ago. So here's a visualization of what it looked like for tweets to travel around the eastern seaboard when the East Coast earthquake happened. So we had just moved into the Twitter New York office when this happened. There were only four or five of us at the time. And someone down the row of desks said, there's an earthquake in DC. And we thought that must be a prank of some sort. And then moments after that, we felt the building shake. So this meant that the tweets were traveling faster than the, the actual tremors, than the shock wave. These graphs here are actually, those aren't seismic readings. They look like it. But those are actually the y-axis as tweets. So you can see the tweets traveling, anticipating the shock wave coming through. So we started really nerding out on earthquakes and Twitter. And you know there was Internet of Things is in the air. And we found this particular account in, uh, in Chile that was created by a 15-year-old who hooked a seismograph up directly to a Twitter account using Twitter APIs, et cetera. Uh, and what it does is serve as an early warning system for earthquake activity or seismic activity for people in Santiago. So it's got th over 300,000 subscribers. If they're power users, they can turn on mobile notifications. And their phone will literally buzz whenever there's seismic activity. So we're like, wow, OK. Tweeting objects, this is pretty cool. Um, what else can we find? We then discover this account, which is a pollution meter on top of the US Embassy in Beijing. One of the only accounts technically in China that actually isn't blocked um, on Twitter because it's on top of the US Embassy. There's an interesting little piece of geopolitical propaganda here where this pollution meter actually tweets out air pollution levels automatically in Beijing on a regular basis. And you can see here it's got different labels, unhealthy for sensitive groups. It might say moderate. It might say dangerous. It might say not safe for children, et cetera. A couple of years ago, there was a minor diplomatic dust up when this uh, device uh, couldn't actually process the level of pollution in the air on a certain day. Uh, and the pre-settings of the labels, whoever programmed it, hadn't anticipated such a high level of, of pollution. And uh, it actually uh, revealed an Easter egg in however this thing was programmed. And it just tweeted out, crazy bad, <laughs> <laughs> um, which I think was later removed. But um, sometimes the tweeting objects have personalities. Here's another more recent favorite one, which is from Western Australia. It's a lifeguard service that actually has radio tagged all the known white, great white sharks in the area. So these are sharks going around with little radio transmitters on them. And then they put receivers along the shoreline. And those receivers actually tweet when there's a shark in the area to let people know, hey, in this particular you know, piece of Ellen Cove, Albany, there's a great white shark that's known to be there. Um, so that's the end of the, the nerd interlude. And I'm stealing liberally from Lawrence Lessig, who you'll hear from later with the uh, XML tags to block this off. But it's similarly, when we were nerding out on, on Internet of Things and tweeting objects, our, our bosses said, uh, yeah, that's, this is the end of your nerd interlude as well. Like, bring it back to business. And so we tried to think of how do we get this tweeting object into the world of brands and, uh, and, and content and, uh, and you know, surprising users on Twitter. And here's what we came up with with our partners again at the NBA. It is basketball season, so. You talk to the be very wary of my guy from Indiana, Paul George. So right at the moment when the dunk happens, the backboard itself has a Twitter account and tweets out a picture of itself getting dunked on. That's actually, that's Diddy underneath there, actually. Uh, it's an important little fact. So.